Most medical school interviews are gonna be online this year. And I know most of you guys, like me, are losers with no social skills. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to pass all four of your medical school interviews like I did. Alhamdulillah. Eye contact. Now, some of you, some of you are going to be naughty, naughty, okay? Because you're going to have notes next to a laptop that you can read off during the interview. Let me tell you something. Not only is it very obvious when someone is reading off some notes due to the fact that they're looking at a specific place and also due to the fact that they'll be speaking in quite a robotic voice, but not only that, not giving eye contact will make you come across as not confident. And for this interview, it's so important to appear confident to impress the interviewer. One question I get from many of my students is whether you should look at the screen or the webcam. And up until today, I really didn't know and I didn't really think it made a difference. But after some reading, the general advice seems to be that you should just invest in a 20 pounds 1080p webcam that you can then use to look straight into. You. And that is sort of the best way that you can sort of give your eye contact and full attention to you when giving a medical school interview. And they're not gonna be bothered about the exact number of pixels or the specifications of your webcam. They really shouldn't be marking you on the, on the quality of your webcam, but it's just gonna make the interview experience a lot better for you and it may make a difference to your marking. Now for your environment, you really want- Why me that? So I'm not know. And you me? For your, your environment, you... like Mama G, I'm trying to make a video. Chop! Okay. You don't want crazy stuff in your background. You don't want your Mama G to be making a chari dal and kebabs during your medical school interview. So just be wary of your environment during your medical school interview. And hopefully your family should be considerate in terms of noise. And for God's sake, don't have anything sus in the background of your medical school interview. <laughs> Clothes and appearance. Everyone knows to wear a shirt, you know, suit, nice formal dressing. Please, please don't wear pajamas to your online medical school interview. You don't want to be that person that gets asked by that rogue interviewer to stand up and you're wearing your, your PJs. Now, something I hate giving advice upon is if you're unsure whether to shave your beard if you have one or if you're a male and you have long hair, whether to give it a trim, this, that. I know it's 2021, but the fact of the matter is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Racism still exists. Stupid bias still exists. A person who does medical school interviews told me that if they were to interview a male with long hair, that would affect the marking that they would give to that person. And listen, yeah, I'm not gonna say and lie to you because that's not what we do on Tar Tuesdays. Yeah, I, I, I bring you the truth and only the truth. It's definitely not the case everywhere in all interviews and in all interviews, but I would just say be wary of it. And it's just, it is something to bear in mind. Basically, don't think it's something that doesn't happen. Oh my God, I'm lagging. It's been so long since I've properly played video games. I know, right? I'm so grown, I'm so cool. I don't need to play games, Carl, because I play life and life's a game. I'm still stuck on level one though. If internet connection is a problem for you, then either invest in a long ethernet cable that you can directly connect your PC or your laptop to the router, a dongle which you can plug directly into your laptop or PC to provide it with its own internet connection, sort of like 4G. I don't know about doing your interview at the library as although your internet connection might be good there, you just can't control the environment and you don't want someone walking in during your interview. You don't want any sort of distractions like that. Leave a pause after the interview is done speaking. And if I'm being honest, even after putting all these measures in place, still anticipate for there to be some sort of lack or connection delay. It's better to expect disappointment than to be disappointed. If you guys want one-to-one -one coaching for your medical school interviews, including lessons or mocks, then DM me on my Instagram or send me an email via email. <laughs> or check out all these different videos giving crucial tips on how to pass and smash your medical school interviews. And again, guys, if you're a loser like me, then click the subscribe button to catch videos every Taha Tuesday. Peace.